I'm Heather, I'm the Adult Services Librarian at the Hopkinton Library and we've just introduced two new ways that you can get magazines from the library on your phone or your tablet or your computer to read at home or wherever you happen to be. This is especially great because we don't actually let people take the most recent copy of a magazine home from the building. They're, they're too uh, much in demand. So this way you can get the most recent edition of any magazine that we carry electronically. And we have two ways to get these. Um, the first way is called Zinio Magazine. So if you start at our webpage, which is hopkintonlibrary.org, you want to click on Books, Audio, Digital. And then you want to click on Digital Books and Audio Catalog. And if you scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see Zinio Magazines under Online Magazines for Digital Devices. And you can go in. You'll need your library card to create a new account. Once you've created an account, you can just log in. So here I am, and now I've logged in, and uh, we have 50 different popular magazines available through this collection. So you can browse around, you can find whichever one you like, and once you've found one that you want to read, you can just click on it to open it up. Check it out. And you can immediately start reading it on your computer screen if you want to do that. So it'll open it up in this nice reader format and you can page through it. And you have all sorts of other options and settings on the side that you can play with and do things. And it looks pretty nice and it's uh, zoomable and quite easy to read. You can also uh, bring that magazine right onto your tablet or your phone if you have one. So I'm going to do that now. And to do this you're going to need to install the Zinio app. Um, and there are very specific instructions on how to get access to our collection through this app. Uh, it's a little bit complicated so we do advise people to either contact us or really read the instructions on our website carefully. But once you've got it set up, I don't know if you can see, but this is my tablet in the Zinio app and it's already got the magazine I've just checked out here so you just have to tap it and it will download alright so then you can see you've got you can just page through it right on your tablet um, you can this doesn't work as well on a smaller tablet but you can make it go if I have, I have screen rotation enabled but you can also get a two-page spread. There we go. Um, and you can do things with your settings. You can see the whole table of contents. You can get magazine articles in plain text so it's easier to read them sometimes that way than on the page. It's a really nice quick and easy little uh, way to get magazines. And the great thing about Zinio is that once you have this issue on your computer, on your device, you have it forever. There's no checkout period. You can keep it as long as you want and just delete it when you're done or if you want to clear up some space on your device. The other option that we have for getting downloadable magazines works just the same way as you may have already seen if you use OverDrive to download ebooks or uh, downloadable audiobooks from the library. And again, you can find that right under Books Audio Digital on our homepage and then under Digital Books and Audio Catalog, and it's this first thing up here, search our digital catalog. To use the OverDrive version of downloadable magazines, you will need the Nook or the Nook app, which is available for iOS, Android, and Windows 8. And to find them, you simply use the advanced search on the site to do a format search for Nook periodicals. And that will bring up everything that we have. It's a different list than what is on Zinio. Um, and unlike Zinio, these do have checkout periods. So they will, you'll have a certain amount of time to read them, then they will get returned automatically, just like anything else that, that you would check out through OverDrive. But this is also a really great way to get access to magazines on the go, uh, to read the most recent stuff without having to be in the library. And we're very pleased to be able to offer it. We hope people will take advantage of it. And of course, as always, if anybody has any questions, if you don't know how to do this, if you need help, we're here. You can call us, visit us, or email us, and we'd be happy to get you set up.